Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting video. Uh, here we're going to be going over the step method for allocating service department costs. Um, we highly recommend if you do not already understand how allocating costs works that you watch the direct method video first and that way we'll be able to just kind of stick with the step method and not have to explain how allocation in general works in this video. So for the step method, we are going to be allocating our service department costs to our manufacturing departments. However, our focus is going to be on allocating them to the other service departments, and we're going to do it in a specific order, and then eventually all service department costs will be allocated to the manufacturing departments. So there's two rules that you really want to keep in mind when you're doing this step method. Um, the first rule is you cannot allocate back to your own department. So for example, if I'm allocating um, these daycare facility costs, I'm not going to be allocating any of the 50,000 back to daycare. Uh, the other rule is if you've already allocated out the costs of a service department, you're not going to be allocating any future costs to that department. So once I allocate this 50,000 to the other departments, uh, if I do IT next, I'm not going to allocate any of this IT back to daycare since it's already been fully allocated out. So one thing that we're going to do here is I'm going to have you guys use a specific order. Um, some textbooks say that you're supposed to do it based on cost or other circumstances, but in this case, I'm going to be giving you the order that I want you to allocate in. So this step order says that the first thing we want to allocate is the daycare facility. So I'm going to set up a bit of a chart down here just to keep everything organized. And then I'll do the order. So we have our direct costs from each department. And then we're going to be doing the daycare facility first, then human resources, then IT, then accounting. Let's go ahead and pull down those direct costs. 250,000 for accounting, 50,000 for daycare, 200,000 for IT, 300,000 for human resources, 500,000 for cutting, 700,000 for assembling, and 400,000 for packaging. So the first one that we're allocating out is this daycare facility. And according to our paragraph up here, the daycare facility, let's see, is going to be allocated based on the number of employees in each department. So the number of employees in each department is listed here. Now, if we were using the direct method, we would just care about these manufacturing departments. But since we're using the step method, we're going to care about all of our departments. Now, if you remember those rules that I told you earlier, one, we cannot allocate back to our own department. So since we're allocating the daycare facility, we cannot allocate to this one. So we do not want to allocate back to this department. And the second rule is we can't allocate to any department th departments that we've already allocated. And since this is our first department, we haven't allocated any departments yet. So really that we're only going to have to ad adhere to that first rule for now. So let's figure out the total that we're really dealing with here. So we're dealing with 96. And we're going to go ahead and spread the 50,000 in daycare costs to all of these different areas based on that ratio, a total of 96. So let's get started. So the daycare facility has $50,000 in costs. Accounting uses, or we're going to divide that amongst the 96 pieces, and accounting uses eight of those pieces. So there is their allocation. They're going to get $4,166.67 of the 50,000. Now remember, we're not allocating back to our own department, so we're going to skip on to IT. So again, $50,000 divided by 96 times nine, since they use up nine employees. Okay. Moving on to human resources, 50,000 divided by 96 times four, Cutting, 50,000 in costs, divided by 96 times 20. Assembling, 50,000 divided by 96 times 50. And 50,000 divided by 96 times five. Now if we did everything correctly, 
we should be able to sum everything up and see we have allocated that 50,000 to all of those departments now. The next department that we are going to have to allocate out is human resources. And human resources, just like the daycare facility, is also going to be based on the number of employees in each department. So since our focus is on the number of employees in each department for the human resources department, we're actually not going to be able to allocate back to our own department. So we're going to delete that one. And we cannot allocate back to any departments that have already been allocated out. So we're also going to ignore whatever could have been here in the daycare facility. So now we're only allocating to accounting, IT, cutting, assembling, and packaging. Now when it comes to the amount that we are allocating out, uh, remember we no longer only have 300,000 in that account. We now have 300,000 plus the $2,083.33. So we're now allocating $302,083.33. So that's the number we're going to be using when we go ahead and spread it amongst these five different departments. So I'm going to type it out just because I'm eventually going to delete these, which will ruin my cell reference. So if you are wondering why I'm not just referencing cells to make it faster, that's why. So the cost divided by 92 total employees and accounting uses eight of those employees. So there's our allocation. Moving on to IT, $302,083.33 divided by 92 employees, and they use nine of those employees. Uh, human resources can't allocate back to our own department. Moving on to cutting, they use 20 of the employees. Assembling, Sorry, I ruined my num lock for a second. 302,083.33 divided by 92, and they use five of those employees. So now once we take a look at all of these allocations, we should find that we have allocated the full $302,083.33. There we go. Fully allocated. Now human resources is gone. The next one in our step is going to be IT. Now IT is allocated based on the pieces of computer equipment in each department. So for IT, they have 10 computers, but we cannot allocate back to our own department. So we're going to delete that. We also cannot allocate to any departments that have already been allocated out. So the daycare facility, can't use that one. And human resources, can't use that one. So now when we're taking a look at our total base that we're going to be using, we're dealing with 28 pieces of computer equipment. Now when it comes to the cost, let's go ahead and sum those up. We're dealing with $234,239.13 because keep in mind, we not only have to care about the direct costs that were in that service, but we have to care about all the costs that were already allocated on it, allocated to it based on the prior steps. So let's go through each one. Accounting, the costs that we're allocating, divided by the total times the usage by that department. Good to go. All right, now let's do daycare, can't, already allocated out. IT, can't, already allocated out. Human resources, can't. All right, manufacturing departments. And they use six pieces of computer equipment. Perfect. 234, 239.13, divided by 28 pieces of equipment, and they use four. Good. <coughs> 234, 23, ooh equals $234,239.13 divided by 28 pieces and they use eight of those pieces. There you go. Now let's check just to make sure that we allocated correctly before we delete. See, and if there was a tiny little difference here, I would know that it was just a rounding issue, but since it's actual dollars here, I know there is somewhere where I went wrong and I could go ahead and delete this, but I think this is actually a really good lesson about checking your work. So one of these, I would have typed the numbers in incorrectly. Let's check through them. 
and there's my transposition right there. 234,239, not 93. There we go. And now we are fully allocated. So that shows the value of checking your work. All right, allocated and gone. All right, last one is the accounting department. So for the accounting department, we have a total of $364,091.61. And we are going to be allocating that based on the costs incurred by each department during the period. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this for now, just so that I have some space here. Let's hide those. There we go. Now it's easy for me to see my costs incurred by each department. So when we're allocating these costs, <clears throat> I can't allocate back to my own department. And I can't allocate to any departments that have already been allocated. So now we are left with 50, 500,000, 700,000, and 400,000. And that actually is our manufacturing departments right there. So once we finish this, we'll be able to total everything up and find our amounts that we are, our actual total manufacturing costs for each one. So with this amount that we have here, 1.6 million, we're going to be allocating $364,091.61. divided by the total cost times the amount that is used up by that particular department. Beautiful. So I'm going to use 700,000 of those costs. All right, and 364091.61 divided by a total of 1.6 million and packaging used up 400,000 of those 1.6 million. All right, let's check our work. Make sure it equals out to the total we're trying to allocate. And it does, beautiful. All right, so now that we have all of our allocations to our manufacturing departments, we can total these up and find out the total cost of each manufacturing department. There you go. So we find that $740,059.68 goes to cutting, $1,082,970.20 goes to assembling, and $576,970.11 goes to packaging. Now the last thing you might want to do is just to sum these up to make sure that it equals out the total of your manufacturing departments and the total of your service departments. So I know I deleted them. <clears throat> the cost in each one was 250000 50000 I believe this one was, let me check real quick, 200000 and this one was 300000 So now let's add those all up, see what we need our total to be. $2.4 million. And there we have our 2.4 million. Remember, the only reason why it's off by a cent is because I was typing in those rounded cents at the bottom while I was allocating. So that right there is your step method. Um, it does usually take a lot more time than the direct method, and it does take a lot more concentration. Um, if you are going through multiple service departments and you have multiple manufacturing departments, you are going to want to keep your work very organized so that you don't make a little mistake. And I always recommend kind of checking as you go because otherwise it's very easy to make a mistake. All right, well, keep practicing. If you have anything to contribute to the conversation, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. And until next time, Happy studying.